Brian Overland. I write uh, programming books professionally as well as consult and do some programming projects on the side. I uh, retired from Microsoft where I worked for 10 years as a programmer, a manager, a tester, and mostly as a technical author. This is uh, C++ Without Fear 2nd Edition. The first edition went through 10 printings, which I understand is unusual for most technical books. A lot never get more than one printing. And it uh, was specifically commissioned because C++ has changed so much in the last five years. And while I wrote this book, um, in addition to covering all the new features, I also took the opportunity to improve a lot of things that I thought could have been even better in the first edition. But basically, it's a second edition of what was a pretty successful book. That, that's an interesting question because I think it succeeds in doing what certain other books have advertised they are doing. I don't know if I can mention them by name. There's a certain other very popular set of books that's supposed to make programming easy enough for a stupid person or a, or a dummy. And what makes my book unique is that I think it actually does make programming easy rather than just attempt it. And it uh, does this in a number of ways. There's a lot more visual illustration of the concepts. I think, um, I think what makes my book unique above all is that it, it takes many different approaches to simplify a subject. Uh, the visual explanation, the uh, technical explanation, there are many, many exercises, and above all, I, my book, I think even more than some of these stupid people books, uh, my book emphasizes very short examples that do something fun and interesting and useful, because I think that most of these books just dump somebody into a hundred line program or a thousand line programming, and I think that's overwhelming for our beginners. I start with two line examples and then go to five line and 10 line. And so to um, come to a point here, the, the, what makes the book unique is that it really goes much farther in simplifying the subject. Other books claim to, I think my book actually succeeds. First of all, I want them to understand that you learn programming by doing. And that gets into the exercises, which we can talk about later. I also want them to understand what object orientation is all about. That's something that's a big buzzword for the last 20 years, and it's still a big buzzword. Uh, when they read my book, I want them to not be intimidated by, by these concepts, not be intimidated by all these fancy words, but understanding why modern programming languages really have gone to this new paradigm of code and data packaged as objects and understanding that it's uh, nothing magic, it's a tool, it's something useful, and it's something they shouldn't be scared about. Uh, and finally, in terms of a, in terms of a takeaway, uh, I want them to I want them to understand the gestalt of I want them to understand the gestalt of programming and how you go about solving a, a problem in C++ of um, how to analyze a problem, how to break it down, how to use the functions, and, and above all, how to use the right tool. I think that this book should help show that C++ is a good tool for a large set of problems. <laughs>